Nolagen here at Frank Alini's. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are at Frank Alini's Italian Deli on a travel search for the best sandwich options in the New Orleans area. Frank Alini's Italian Deli is a New Orleans sandwich shop making sandwiches the New Jersey way which is located in the Uptown area of New Orleans at 3987 Chapatula Street, which is about 12 minutes and 4 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Francolini's Italian Deli opened in the summer of 2023 and has been extremely busy ever since. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So this is actually the first day that I've seen this place without a line around the block. They also want you to take a ticket here if you want a sandwich because they won't serve you without a ticket. So you can see there's still a decent line inside. And let's go ahead and check out their big menu here they have posted. So we have a special with a spicy pasta salad, panay prosciutto, provolone, sun-dried tomatoes, and a spicy Calabrian chili dressing. Then we have an E. Knievel with giant mozzarella stick, pepperoni, Genoa salami, vodka sauce. Then we have the sandwiches with the Italian, the Elmer Fudd, the Underdog, the Dima, the Ney, the Baptiste, the Gabby, the Lang, the Smoltz, the Niccolo, the Freddie Freeman, the Betty White, the Gandolfini, the Method Man. Then we have hot sandwiches with the Big V, the Travis, meatball parm, the Uncle John, chicken parm, and eggplant parm. All prices are for house recipe, seven inch sub rolls baked by IU Bakehouse, tax not included, plus $2 for house made focaccia, they are big, plus $2.50 for gluten free bread. Hot sandwiches and pellet sandwiches are only available on sub rolls. They also have smaller paper menus, but you don't get the specials listed on those, so make sure to check out the big board menu for the specials. So this joint is also a market, so uh, it's good to kind of shop around, look around. There could be something else that you could find that meets a need that you would like to have satisfied. And also pay attention to the signs here as make sure to take a ticket from the front. No ticket, no sandwich, so very strict rules here. And it's uh, definitely not a slow moving line, but it still takes a little while to get up there. So make sure you got your ticket. Here's mine. And then you can uh, finally get up close enough to take a look in their deli case where you can see some of the cheeses and meats. They also have some coolers with a lot of different drinks and then other food options that are prepared and ready to go. Then they also have an explanation of the different kinds of meats that you're selecting from here as well. So this is uh, quite a hectic pace. So you finally get up here and put your order on with this fellow. And then you can see them hard at work on all the sandwiches and see the various breads they've got. So this is a very busy place. They put the number up there and flash it on and yell out your number as well when it's ready. So there's a lot of activity going on in here and this place has been really slam jam packed since they opened. Now, uh, like many new restaurants in New Orleans, it tends to slow up after the first six months. A lot of people suggest not even trying a new place till it's been open for six months. But I'm here a little early as the line was short enough, I decided to pop in finally. So, as you can see, there's already quite a line that's built up. And then, of course, we've got lots of desserts here on top of the counter. So, it looks like they get their desserts from this place here. And I guess they don't cook their own cookies. But, hey, these look like some decent cookies if you need a dessert. And then they have a selection of beer here as well. So, you can get some nice adult beverages. And they even have a happy hour, 2 to 4 p.m. So... And then I paid for my sandwich finally, and the total was $42.14. It was so crowded inside Francolini's, I didn't have anywhere to sit, unfortunately, so I just took my food home to eat. So let's open up this bag. Ha ha ha, all right. What's in the bag here? Yeah. Dump it out. Ooh. So we got a uh, chicken parm and the uh, smalls. <laughs> Let's open these things up. 
So can you guess which one's hot, which one's not? Oh, the chicken parm right here. And the smalts, which is a, a roast beef. There we go. Glory shots. So I got a cold sandwich, the smolts, which is thin sliced rare roast beef, fontina, shaved red onion, horseradish aioli, fresh dill, lettuce, mustard, vinaigrette. And then I got a hot sandwich with the chicken parm, chicken cutlets, melted mozzarella, house marinara, and parmesan. Okay, I gotta uh, say going into this, just by the uh, observed sizes of these things, I'm still uh, a little bit, uh, prejudiced in the favor of a po' boy, but uh, let's see. Okay, chicken parm. Had this many times on a po' boy style. Let's see how it is. Okay, so first impression after a few bites there, uh, I like the bread. Bread is very nice. They have both seeded and non-seeded. This is the uh, non-seeded bread. The chicken parm itself, man, I've had a whole lot of way better tasting chicken parms on a po' boy, I gotta say. So, uh, not my favorite uh, sandwich so far, I gotta say. I uh, really like a lot more red gravy on here. That would uh, make me a little happier, probably. Mmm, this is so bland, I gotta say, uh, hmm. definitely could use a little, uh, bonus spice to my flavor. Let's just, uh, skip ahead to the roast beef, see how that is. Ooh, wow. This is, uh, got some potential, it smells pretty darn nice, let's see how the flavor is. Mm. Mm. Definitely prefer the flavor of this one, although um, to my taste buds it needs a whole lot more mustard on here. Ooh. Roast beef though is pretty darn good overall. And this is the uh, seeded bread.
Okay, let's uh, finish off this chicken parm. So, just like I totally destroyed this chicken parmesan, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this sandwich. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Let's get to the second half of this roast beef. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, last bite. So, uh, chicken parmesan, I wouldn't get that again. Uh, roast beef, yeah, you know, if I'm in the mood for something a little different, I might get this. Uh, I'm firmly team po' boy, like po' boy way better. I will say this is a, a very authentic New Jersey style sandwich. Uh, I did have the uh, pleasure of going to Fort Dix, New Jersey for my basic training and the uh, army so I uh, did have a little experience with some of these uh, types of subs uh, on that uh, occasion and several others so this is definitely an authentic uh, reproduction of a Jersey style sub I would say uh, the roast beef certainly um, if I'm not in the mood for roast beef po' boy maybe you want something a little bit different I would uh, certainly consider this roast beef again so, uh, not something I probably would do on a regular basis, but hey, for all the people that love this style sandwich, it's good you have an option, and hey, it's always good to have more options and more possibilities. So, when you're uh, craving a little deli style type of thing that's much different than most of the po' boys, more varieties of spice alive, right? So, uh, uh, you know, it's not top of my list, but it's still overall, you know, a good sandwich, at least for this roast beef. Also have a little third meal. Oh, 
<laughs> Nowhere the amount of uh, third meal you get with a po' boy. So, just like I totally destroyed this roast beef sandwich, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this roast beef sandwich. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So, thanks so much to everybody at Francolini's Italian Deli. And for Yankee food, I guess it's all right. Uh, that chicken parm definitely needs some work though. That just, uh not my bliss. The roast beef was good though. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. And also remember to uh, click on any of the links in the description box underneath to any of the cookbooks there. And then even if you don't buy a cookbook, if you're just doing normal shopping on Amazon, I get a little tiny commission if you've clicked on that link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it gives me a tiny little bit of commission on anything that you purchase, and that is much appreciated. And then, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.